morning everybody and welcome to my third and final video on mono printing these are the results and i must say i'm really really pleased i did do a lot more um, from my first video i did a lot of papers in the end and i'm really pleased so i'm going to go through some of these with you and i will just choose a pile let's just take those those are quite nice if I remember. Well, they're all very nice actually. So, hopefully you will see these. My tea bag ones didn't come out as well as I expected. However, they did all, they did give me a tone, some texture there. Now, this one was the first tea bag art one and where I'd sandwiched it down like this. And this was the result of my tea bag and a couple of daisies. And I'm really pleased with those. Some more here. Again, flowers, lines, texture, beautiful. This is my fur that I used from the garden, this one. And again, I was really pleased with the lines that came out there. This one is gorgeous. I really like the softness of this one. And I could even make that into a painting. I think that would be quite nice. Aces, I love aces. This is the Acer result on one of my papers. More. And this was a peony leaf. I love peonies. And that was the result of of that one which is beautiful dark lines down here but again it just shows all the lines on the leaf itself which is beautiful another Acer one really like that too and again I can make this into a painting if I wanted to or I'm hoping I can use it as a background paper for my tea bag art so if I was to do a tea bag painting I could probably incorporate these papers and that's what it was I mainly did the experiment for but I can also use these uh, in my handmade books that I make they will make nice little writing papers I want to show you a couple I found oh yes the grasses do you remember I laid the grass down and I put a couple that way I thought that was very good beautiful again the texture and line this is beautiful a lovely Acer. Again, really pleased with that. I did unfortunately rip it as I pulled them apart. So you do have to be very careful when you do this process. But another flower I was really impressed with was the Lily of the Valley. And I believe that's on these. Now, this is the Lily of the Valley and a very dainty daisy flower I have in the garden. So there's the Lily of the Valleys there. And they came out beautifully there as well. A painting in itself, isn't it? It's beautiful. Again, this one, unfortunately, I ripped it again. But again, you can see the beautiful bells of the Lily of the Valley. So yes, these are my results. I'm really, really pleased. The purple flower, the little daisy, gave me the blue. So that's what happened there. I found my aces were brilliant, my peonies and hydrangea leaves. That was good too. So if you remember from my first video, I boiled all these papers together, sandwiched in chicken wire for an hour and a half. And in that water, I put some apple cider vinegar it is recommended to use white vinegar, but I didn't have any. Um, but I'm really pleased with using the apple cider because I think the results are still, still brilliant. So there's my results and I hope you like them. If you'd like to go to my website and look at any tea bag art pictures for sale, handmade books, and I also do tea infused wax melts. So take a look at www 
Infusions Tea Bag Art. Have a lovely day.